Greetings, welcome back to Pink Odd Bird. Today we are here, it is August 1st, so that means it is time for prompt week. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, as usual, we are going to start out with the recap of the previous month, which is July. Here we are on July. This is obviously the little dedication to the month of July, as I always do. Um, I just always write like a little blurb about what I think about the previous month and what I hope for the, the next month. And then day one here we have, uh, what do you hear right now? Use words, pictures, art, etc. to depict that in your journal. So at that point in time when I was doing this, I actually heard the gardeners outside. So it was like lawn mowers and air blowers and all of that really great fun stuff. <laughs> so I just drew a little picture here of a little lawnmower with the grass flying everywhere. And then I just wrote a little blurb that that's what I heard. Then day two, kindness begins with a smile. Use any, use any art or paper medium to put a smile on your page. So I just use buttons. I have a lot of buttons that I, I, don't, I haven't really used. So I just did a little button smile there. <laughs> Um, okay, so I went out of order here because I, of the way I wanted my pages set up. So I did day five, use pen, paint, paper, etc., to make a series of intertwined circles that represent unity. So I punched out a bunch of big circles and I just overlapped them. And that's just my really simple interpretation on this spread. But the, the point of this was just to show that, um, it doesn't matter like kind of where you are. Everybody is really just interlinked because we're all just humans. We're all just humans. <laughs> so day three, how can you exhibit a random act of kind kindness to a stranger? List three ways you can do so. So here I said, number one, you can hold the door open for the person coming in behind you. Number two, you can offer help to someone. If you see someone and you think you can help them, offer to give them a hand. And number three, sometimes it's nice to just smile, nod, or even say good morning to a person in passing or that you're in a common room or area with. Um, that reminded me of a, my cousin who had posted on her Facebook that she, you know, the way that we were raised is when you walk into a room or when you start talking to people or greeting people, encounter people, you acknowledge them. You say, hi, how are you? Good morning. Good afternoon. Whatever the case is. And so she had walked into a room and said, good morning to a man. And he looked at her and just ignored her. And, um, you know, then, um, another lady walked in and said good morning to him and he ignored her too. Um, and then, you know, when he was called up for his turn for what, it, what they were in the, in the office for, um, you know, he just, he went on. But, um, when that lady had walked in, she said good, good morning to my cousin and, you know, they had a little friendly exchange. And so, you know, and my cousin wasn't down about it. She said that, you know, um, even though, Sometimes the kindness that you give out isn't reciprocated. Don't let it uh, diminish your day. And I thought that was really awesome. And so that's what number three was um, I had in mind for number three there. Number four or day four. <laughs> Go out of your way to find something good. Seek out something that someone else has done that warms your heart and makes you proud for humanity. Um, there's an actual website called the Good News Network, and I don't know if you have ever heard of that, but if you haven't, um, all you have to do is type in Good News or Good News Network, and the website will come up, and it's just a bunch of, like, really, obviously, good news, feel-good things um, that will, you know, kind of sort of outweigh the bad news that's usually put in front of us. Uh, the, the gist of the story that I had read that day was a son was really trying to get to his parents, specifically his dad for father's day. They lived in, I think it was Argentina. Yeah. Argentina. And he was from an Island on Portugal. I believe that's the way the story went. And, um, I guess the Island that he was on, there's no cases of COVID there. And so he knew that once he left there, he wasn't going to be able to come back. So he decided to leave anyway. And they told him, you know, and he couldn't fly. So the only thing that he could do was ride his uh, boat there. So it, I think it took him, let me see. 
I want to say it took, I want to say, yeah, 85 days. It took him 85 days in total to ride his boat from there to Argentina. He made it to see his dad, his mom, and, you know, so it was a, it was a nice, um, a nice thing that he did and, you know, a big risk and chance that he took in more than one way um, to get to his elderly parents. So I thought that was a kind of neat story. Oh, this one is like my favorite one, I think. So day six, we can spread joy year round, decorate your page for Christmas in July. So um, here I just wrote a little blurb about Christmas for this year. And then I just did some collaging collaging with like different elements here and then I glued this book page into the book and I love it because you know it just adds like a whole little like Christmas spread to it <laughs> I put some little stars on there and then it opens up and you have this nice little Christmas scenery and then on this side you've got them leaving on the um on the sled and then over here I did a little bit more uh, collaging and then I just wrote the lyrics to we wish you a merry christmas but yeah i really love this and it kind of was like getting me a little bit pumped i haven't done a december daily so depending on how my time goes this year i might actually do one depending depending <laughs> so day number seven we are halfway through this wild year use half your page to depict the prior six months and the other half of your page for what you hope the next six months will look like so this is our previous six months. It is exactly what you see. And then what I hope for the next six months is obviously a lot prettier, brighter, um, welcome the journey, craft your heart out, all that kind of good stuff. Even Western Union, as far as like jobs go, hopefully people can get their jobs back and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so this is all Tsunami Rose, by the way. I'll link her down below. But yeah, so this is my before and after. First half, second half. <laughs> so that's it for July. So I'm going to move this aside and we will take a look at the prompts for August. So kind of kind of easy going once again for the month of August. It's going to start ramping up as we get a little bit closer in the fourth quarter of the year. So we don't want to bulk our books up too much before then. So here's what we've got. So day one, find something new to learn about today. What is it that you learned? It's pretty simple. If the previous half of the year was a movie, what would its title be? <laughs> So you can make up your own title if you want, or you can, you know, um, apply an existing movie title to what the previous six months have been. Day number three, what is one of your favorite words? So that's pretty simple. Number four, what is a new skill or something you, or something new you have learned about yourself during quarantine? That question actually came from Aloha's, Aloha's Creations. We were on a video chat and she asked all of us that and I thought that was really great. So that one is uh, attributed to her. Day number five, decoupage or glue paper and napkins on today's spread. So that's really simple. I'm pretty sure we've got an, an abundance of that kind of stuff to put in our books. Day number six, what is your last crafty purchase? Is it something that you have used yet? So I felt like that was kind of a good one because um, a lot of times we buy stuff and don't necessarily use it. So, you know, these are all little nudges to keep using the things that you have, <laughs> even if they're stuff, even if they're things that you're still buying currently. Day number seven. What is a food that you really enjoy making that is homemade or from scratch? So pretty simple. So they're all really kind of like self-explanatory, but I think they're kind of like fun and, you know, easy to do. So yeah, those are, those are going to be our prompts for August. And you can find these on my website, pinkoddbird.com by clicking on what's new and scroll to the August prompts. I will also link it in the description box below for you. So, all right. I believe that is going to be it for today. I have some books that I'm working on in the background. I will be posting snippets of those books on Instagram as well as in the stories or community board here on YouTube. So that is going to wrap it up for me for now. Be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into. And until next time.
to the loo.